I want to uh, discuss the Evergreen State College uh, situation. First of all, we must remember that amongst colleges, Evergreen State College is a relatively small college in the whole grand scheme of things at under 5,000 students, where as best comparable uh, in the state I'm from is about three or four times larger uh, as of 2012 at uh, 15,517 across five campuses. And the Mount San Antonio College, which is one of um, one of my, uh, well, Mount San Antonio College, which is my college, also is a few years older on when it was founded than Evergreen. But the focus that I feel necessary to express is when a college goes into ultra ideologue it sometimes can get in the way of a real purpose, a real vision. Mount San Jacinto College did not let that happen. They have a long litany of sharing what their values are, what their uh, uh, positions uh, on why they exist, is predominantly a vocational school, not a liberal arts college or a uh, academic uh, thought hub. George uh, Bridges, the president of uh, Evergreen State College has actually done Evergreen uh, State College a mass uh, massive disservice to it. Now, I'm going to do something that I want to share with you. If I can bring this up, and it's a uh, the differences between the missions of the two uh, colleges. Here's here's Evergreen's statement: as an innovative public liberal arts college, Evergreen emphasizes collaborative, interdisciplinary learning across significant differences. Our academic community engages students in defining and thinking critically about their learning. Evergreen supports, bene supports and benefits from local and global commitment to social justice, diversity, environmental stewardship, and service in the public interest. Now, that sounds good. But let's look at the core themes very quickly. Integrated uh, core themes of the college uh, from their own website is integrated interdisciplinary learning, individuals engaged in community, environmental stewardship, and social justice, and diversity and equity. Now, that in itself, none of that really sounds bad until you look at the long line of stuff said on uh, Mount uh, San Jacinto Colleges. website. And I'm going to read 
the this year's revised mission statement. Mount San Jacinto College offers quality, accessible, equitable, and innovative educational programs and services to students aspiring to achieve their academic, career, and personal development goals. We provide students a safe environment which, in which to pursue basic skills, career, and general education pathways. Our programs lead to transfer associate degrees and certificates which meet workforce development and needs in our diverse communities. Our commitment to learning and achieving uh, empowers students to enrich our communities and participate meaningfully in today's complex world. Interesting. But let's go to uh, the vision statement. Transforming learning, transforming communities, and transforming lives. That's the vision statement. But where it gets interesting is you know how I read core themes of Evergreen's mission? Here we go and values statement by Mount San Jacinto College. We are students, employees, and a community. We believe that the act of teaching and learning is vital to a thriving community that, that enriches and at times saves lives. We can we commit to opportunities that inspire the following values in ourselves. The first word, excellence. We challenge students by setting high standards for learning and critical thinking, which we model with action. Collaboration. We believe the best results are achieved through communication and participation among students, employees, and industry, and the community in the industry and the community we serve. Relationship. We nurture community built on positive interactions and a genuine concern for the welfare of others. Underline that word genuine, because that is a big, big deal. Innovation. We cultivate a creative environment that promotes the development of new ideas for continuous quality improvement. Relevance. Another word that Evergreen does not seem to put through. We create educational experiences that have meaningful applications in a local and global context today and tomorrow. And the word access. We ensure equitable rights of all students by removing barriers to a quality education and promoting a network of support that improves learning opportunities. Leadership. We empower people throughout the community to support and facilitate positive change. And then we get to diversity. We respect and embrace the power of sharing our differences in thought, opinion, culture, background, and background to optimize our collective strength and the word integrity. We believe in being true to our core values by consistently demonstrating our character and an institutional commitment to do the right thing. Now this, all of this long litany is on mission statement. And then you get the priorities of the college in three, three uh, in in a list of five: uh, student success, fiscally sound position, systematic planning and assessment, institutional pride, and organizational culture, and community partners and services are all priorities to develop these programs. So. This is where we get the problem with Evergreen. And it's not not exclusively Evergreen's fault. 
but many schools, even among the public uh, sphere, don't think enough about putting a solid statement up to show where they stand. Well, what happens when you don't have that solid thing is you can get lost in the shuffle. And this appears to be what happened at Evergreen. Evergreen had students who weren't empowered by real world applications. Uh, so the students took out frustration somehow on the on the uh, on the administrators and other and other non-minority uh, students, which is a disturbing trend of itself, but it also leads the question, where was the quality instruction? Why did we not, why did they not get that? And one thing you gotta remember about Evergreen versus Mount San Jacinto College, Mount San Jacinto College only does associate degrees. Evergreen goes all the way up to masters. If a community college that only does associate degrees is that solidly um, building their foundation, why can't a four-year or above university or college do the same thing? I believe, it may not be intentional, but it is an irresponsibility amongst the administration of that college that that led to the uh, massive problems. Why am I leading it to the idea that it's the administrator's fault? Well, first of all, the administrators are the ones who set the mission statements, set the uh, goals and all that of the college. And they are the ones who express those goals to the professors, to the educators. Without having that clear foundation, you don't have the clear foundation upon which to build your class appropriate classes appropriately. I um I've thought about this because I've didn't want to go out on a tangent um, thing blaming just the protesters for the problems, but I wanted to also look at deeper issues. It looks to me like it's all this was brought up based upon a breakdown in communication. And a breakdown in communication can be very serious and very disastrous. And sometimes when you have a breakdown in communication, you get protests of the magnitude that have occurred. So, considering that, I think the protests happened because of uncloud uh, unclarity of the um, of the administration and the vision of the college let alone um, communication breakdowns 
and systems uh, and uh, services um, also occurred, which led up to such a massive uh, issue. So, my take is the college really needs to re uh, restructure uh, what their values uh, state and express that appropriately with good communication to the student body and, uh, and the uh, pro uh, professors. They should also express their standards for uh, for academic success in each each uh, department, which will also help in uh, reviving the school's quality. But none of this can be done until a pathway of communication is reopened. And this is where the problem is at this moment. I don't know if there, uh, if the pathway of communication can be reopened or if it has been reopened. So, I would, I would hope that this college could recover. Even with its uh, liberal leanings, I don't have malice to, uh, or hate toward them. We should look forward to a college recovering from such a bad, uh, bad situation. California has had a uh, pretty bad uh, college rap to, uh, in uh, UC Berkeley. And I appreciate uh, different opinions and I would hope that these colleges have pathways uh, of communication that come forth uh, better over the next uh, few uh, years. Thank you and have a nice day.